What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is painting day. We are working on the exterior of the house, a day we've been looking forward to for a very long time. Um, Dad has went to the store and picked up this Graco Magnum X7 True Airless right here. Um, we're enjoying this thing so far. Dad's already gotten a jump start on the project as you can see behind me. He did this entire side of the house already. So he's gonna kind of explain to you what he's gone through in the past couple of uh, you know minutes, hours, his technique, what he's found, and um, we're just gonna go from there. First thing I did this morning, I taped off the fence, water, the water main, the uh, electrical whips for the for the air conditioner and the gas meter. Why'd you do that? I just hate overspray on everything. Yeah. If you can take a few minutes and, and prevent it, then why not do it? The other thing you'll notice is uh, I just sprayed the windows. These are, today is what, Friday? These are getting replaced on Monday. So they told me just to spray them, and uh, when they pull them out, put the new ones in, it'll look brand new. So I'm just getting in here tight. Yeah, and that's good too, because that allows you to just yep. not have to be cautious and potentially yep. miss a spot, right? Yep. Cool. So this whole side took me about 20 minutes. And we're using a block filler on this, on this brick that's never been painted before. So there's three key things in your technique when you're spraying. You don't want to stand in one place and do this because you're far from the work here and you're close here. So you'll get more paint here, less here. The other thing you want to do is, is keep the gun square to the work. Um, I'm going to violate that today. I'm going to tell you why. If you're painting something flat and you're spraying like this, you're going to get more paint here and less here just because of the fan pattern. And the third technique is you want to move, start moving, pull the trigger, let go of the trigger and keep moving. You don't want to stop and let go or on the beginning of your stroke, pull and then start moving because you'll get a buildup of paint. You're always moving. Now this isn't a flat surface. We've got obviously the face of the brick and the face of the mortar, but we also have the top of the brick and the bottom of the brick and the left and the right hand side. So we're trying to get paint on all those surfaces. So I'm coming down at an angle in this direction and I'm catching the tops and the right hand side. On my second pass, I'm coming like this and that's getting the bottom of the brick and, and, the, uh, and this side. Tomorrow when we do the finish coat, we're going to give you our full impression on this machine and what we have to do to start it up. But today I just wanted to get the priming dialed in, get it all primed. It's working great on the brick. Now we've got some stucco here, so let's try it on the stucco. What you got right there, Dan? Just a splash shield I'm trying out. Okay. So you just don't want to spray, uh, spray that concrete base that the fireplace is sitting on? Correct.
little plastic that we had right here. And um, it was a little tough to kind of finesse the plastic around the fence right here. So we got a little bit of white overspray right there and a little bit right here. So I'm gonna take a wet rag. And while dad's on the front of the house, I'm gonna be cleaning this up, so. So now it's time to clean the, the Magnum. We have the hose hooked up to the laundry. Probably one of the hottest days that we've been out here so far. And we've been in the sun the entire time. And we are actually so beat and so tired after just a few hours. Painting takes it out of you, man. But now we gotta clean the beast and get it ready for tomorrow. What is up, guys? It is the second day here at the main project house. Dad is already hard at work getting the, the coat of paint on, the white coat of paint that we primed yesterday for. And he's already hard at work, so we're just gonna go straight in to some painting clips, and then we're gonna give you guys our full impressions and the full rundown of our Magnum sprayer. Awesome. How many coats are you doing? One? One, one of this. Really? One top coat, yeah. Really? It's, it's covering great. How do you think it looks? I love it. Really? Yep. So this gets all patched with new stucco. We're just not ready. I think we said yesterday, the reason we're painting is so when they put the windows in the day after tomorrow, it's already painted around the windows. Yeah, because right now we can get in places where it would be really hard and annoying to get Yep. if they were the good windows. Yep, and I'm just spraying stuff like this because that's going to get changed to a ground fault. We're actually going to change every receptacle in the house, so that's why I'm spraying that. Cool. All right, let's move our setup. Yep. Woo, it looks freaking sweet back here, man. See how nice that looks all taped off? Oh, yeah. Looks like a pro did it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it does look really nice. Yep. Otherwise, you kind of have that white splatter look. Oh yeah, you see these so often, they just paint them. Yeah. I mean, how long does it take to, how long does it take to put a little tape on them? I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but you can really tell how the two different angles of attack paint all our edges here. Sure. I mean, you can just tell that the upper, I don't know if it translates well to camera, but you can definitely tell that the upper where all the lines and all the cracks and stuff, yep. they're definitely less apparent yep. where you've painted than down here. Yep. So, it's doing a great job. check our paint supply it's a surprise I put this damp towel over it just to keep the Sun off the paint um, so it won't skim over see that no skim over at all keeps it in the shade cool and you got what like a third of a bucket and it's and this is moist so uh, yep I'd say we'll be fine with, with 15 gallons are you 15 yeah sure have a little extra for touch-ups yep. and maybe leave some for the homeowners Yep. Cool. So this is a 2,000 square foot house. You saw the brick that we painted and the stucco. That was 15 gallons of block filler. And it's going to take 15 gallons of, of our top coat. So that, now that I know I have pretty good paint supply, I may even start going a little thicker. So one, one thing we is kind of fighting us is this is not a swivel connection. So the hose has got its own pull. Yeah. Like it wants to pull it itself in a different direction. If this were a swivel, it'd be so much easier. Maybe they make one. Uh, we'll have to check it out, or if you know, let us know in the comments. That'd be awesome right there. A yeah. Swivel.
cover this new bucket, but the, the cloth, the damp cloth wants to sit in the paint, so we're just gonna bridge it. I have some long shims, but paint stick would work, anything like that. This is really helping to keep that paint from skimming over in this heat. Yeah, this is a great trick. So we had to reprime the sprayer because when we changed buckets, all the paint drained out of the, the hoses. So it's just a simple matter, just prime clean. I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't. And then that's the prime position. This lever's pointing to this hose, so it's priming. When we're pointing to this hose, we're spraying. Just like that, easy. Easy. Dang, Dad, how'd you get that clean of a line on there? Right here? Yeah. I'm pretty good, huh? Dang, yeah. It looks awesome. Like a laser. Yeah. <laughs> hey, gang. Well, we finally got this house painted with our new Graco Magnum X7. This was a $400 machine. We painted this house in three hours. Each coat took three hours. Three hours on 15 gallons of block filler and three hours on about 12 gallons of our finished color. One coat of each. This thing saved us so much time. Uh, it was incredible. I'm really glad we bought it. I read the manual at night but it also comes with a laminated quick start guide on how to uh, set up the machine, start it up, and start it up when you're painting and how to clean up. And we used all water-based materials, so we just clean up with a hose. And it also comes with uh, some pump armor, which we will put in probably tomorrow. We're gonna clean this with water here in a second and then do a favor for our neighbor tomorrow. And then once we clean it tomorrow, we'll put this in for some storage. Uh, until we're ready to use it again. I've sprayed my whole life, uh, not, a, not a lot with this, more with a Binks air gun. Really like the airless sprayer. If this were a swivel, that'd make it even easier to move. I'm, I'm sure that's available, we just need to check. And uh, we had maybe one clog today on this, with this finished coat and several clogs yesterday on the block filler, and that could have been just a tip issue, probably a different tip to, um, to spray that thick of the paint with. What'd you think, Jordan? I was a little skeptical the first day when it was clogging so much. I thought that that might be a bit of a hassle, but I guess that's why we decided to use it for two days before we um, said anything on YouTube, because now we know that the thinner material definitely helps. And um, we kind of know what to look for now as far as what goes on easy and what doesn't go on so easy. And maybe we can um, pick up a new nozzle or a new tip and maybe modify that gun a little bit. So yep. it'll go on a little easier next time. And the, the product we used yesterday, the block filler, it said you could thin it uh, to spray easier, but it wasn't recommended. So we just shot it right out of the can. I mean, do you want to show them what it takes to just unclog it? It's super easy. It is. I mean, they definitely thought about it. Yep. You just, can you see this black handle? Uh, it's, yeah. I'll clean it off. It kind of has an arrow pointed that way. Yeah, it's shaped as an arrow. Right, so that's to spray. And if you get a clog, you turn it clockwise half a turn. I'm gonna, I'll show you what it's doing inside. So that's to spray. And then when you're inverting it, it's blowing the clog back out of the nozzle because it gets clogged 
in here. Yeah. So pretty cool design. Really cool. Yep. We're gonna clean all this up like brand new. Yeah, we'll show you guys how to clean it. Yep. The main thing is keep it clean. So let's clean it. So you think that for four hundred dollars and doing it yourself, how much money you think you would have saved as opposed to hiring a painter? Probably two grand. A couple thousand? Yep. A couple bands. Yep. So we like the thing, the Magnum X7, it's a great sprayer for us. It did this house. Uh, no problem. We definitely recommend it. We're definitely going to be getting more use out of it in the future for future projects that we're doing and um, some more stuff for inside the house. And now we're going to show you guys how to clean this bad boy. Hey, so this machine has a, a hook on it, which is made for the five gallon buckets. And possibly the one, but we haven't tried it yet. Yep. So we're going to use my right foot against the axle to push these two forks tight against the bucket. And there you go. It holds it pretty well. Yeah. I mean, the, the more full your bucket is, you have to be careful. But yeah, so we, what we, we didn't spill any. No, we didn't spill any. No. And we also tried to bring the bucket when it was full to a spot where we were going to be using it a lot. That way we kind of got the paint level down. So that way when we had to move it, we weren't spilling any. Yep. So you got to be thinking about where you want to start and if you're going to be having to move it a lot. Yep. And then what we found to be easier was... Uh, say, say this was our say this bucket was our empty bucket, and this was our full bucket of paint. We found it easier just to pick up the whole machine, yeah, and and move it over rather than trying to maneuver sixty pound buckets of paint underneath the machine. Just pick yeah. that up, pick it up, and swing it over, and chop it in. Yep. Yeah, that was definitely easier. Yep. yep. A lot, a lot less spillage that way as yep. well. All right. We'll just read. We're gonna clean this thing and we're gonna yeah. read from the car. Yep, here's how you clean it. So turn it off. And so it wants both tubes and a waste pail. So this is gonna be our waste pail. So Step one. I'm just gonna pick it up. Both tubes and a waste pail. And I'm gonna get this one out of the sun and put a lid on it. Okay. Turn this to prime, turn this to prime. And then it says to trigger the gun into here. This is the lock, you can't squeeze, unlock it. That's, that's probably just to relieve the, any pressure that's in the hose, so we don't yeah. have any. So it wants us to lock it and remove this. And Jordan moved in the shade because it's so hot his phone was overheating. So this is basically just a ball valve. Not basically, it, it is a ball valve. So that's a pretty good stream right there. We want you to clean these tubes first. So I just use that clamp. Slide it up and down. All right, we clean the outside of these tubes. Now it wants us to thread this on there. I'm gonna spray the inside of that a little bit. It's gonna get down to prime, is that it? Yeah. Now we're pumping, flushing water through here. So this runs clean. It's in here. See what? Can you see how this is clear? Yeah. But this is. Oh this sure. Is on it. So with the dial in the prime clean setting and this lever facing down, they want you to run the pump for about 20 seconds. And it's gonna pump clean water from our hose through the machine, and now we're really clean. See that? Clean water. You see this hose? It's all clear now inside. It's got to do a good job of cleaning. Look how clean it is. You could drink that water. Oh. Mm. Tastes a little bit like 
paint. No, I'm kidding. It's totally clean water. No flavor at all. All right, next it wants us to, to save the paint in the hose if we want to. We're not going to worry about it. We've got plenty left. Turn this to spray. Turn the switch to on. Locked. The instructions are pretty clear and yeah, quite. I mean, that's seven steps to clean it. I'm sure after you use this thing a few times, you won't even need those anymore. Sure. But to me, cleaning is the most important step because you're really protecting your investment. It's the difference between years and months, right? Yep. Jordan was giving me a hard time yesterday about how I clean all the overspray off the machine. <laughs> but I'm trying to get over it. Well, you're not going to clean the paint off the wheels? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> That's easy to clean. But this one... So we're going to... Clean the guard and the tip. Very important to get inside here. So let me go get something real quick. So this is the inlet side. See the arrow? That's the direction of flow of the paint. This is the outlet. Use a toothpick, something soft. Get all the paint out of there. Nice. Clean nozzle. Awesome. It just goes in there. All right guys, so that is going to wrap up the painting video. It was honestly a really difficult video to film in general just because of the heat. For $400, this Magnum X7 airless uh, spray painter was absolutely incredible. It did the job, it exceeded our expectations. We saved probably a couple thousand dollars, we would say, uh, opposed to hiring a painter. So if you guys have a couple of days and you know are thinking about redoing a home or even a little project, we would absolutely recommend this sprayer. On future homes, we're gonna get a lot of use out of it, and it's going to add a lot of improvement, not only for homes that we do, but also DIY projects around our houses, and also for other people. I mean, we're, we're about to paint our neighbor's house and finish it for him with the same spray painter because he saw how good of a job it did on this house. So just kind of an example of the benefits that come with that. We're also gonna get more attachments for it, like the roller and maybe longer nozzles to make it easier for future projects. So there's that availability for that hoses. and hoses yeah we're gonna get longer hoses as well those are available too we looked so the sprayer is especially awesome for us down in the south a lot of the houses are made out of brick just like this and in, if we were to roll this or use a brush it would take honestly probably a week if not longer so the sprayer was honestly a must-have for us and how even it went on the brick into the grout lines into all the nooks and crannies it just looks incredibly clean and we can't say enough good things about it and we think the homeowners are really going to love their new paint job but i don't know if you guys can tell i'm absolutely out of breath dad's out of breath we're both sweating we're both just drinking gallons of water it's been a crazy couple of days and we're glad to have it done if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It would really help us out, get us to 100, and we'll see you guys in the next video.